Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at Three Man Snack. And if most of you have been following the channel, you know that this is one of my favorite plays. Even as a former play caller, on a much lower level, this is a play that I, I really, really love. Uh, you can call it versus a number of coverages, man or zone. It has answers for, for both concepts, man or zone, I mean. And if it's ran right, you know, really it's tough to stop. Uh, you can run it on first down to get you in, in favorable second down situations. You can run it in third down, preferably third and short to get you, you know, first down so you just don't have to be predictable. But I really look at it as a as a first down play so you don't just don't line up and hand the ball off. It's kind of an extension of the run game as far as I'm concerned. And then if they decide to play man, you got a little route that can help you out versus man too. And you can do stuff on the backside of it to – to help you out versus man also so what i'm gonna do is kind of show you the different ways it's drawn up like schematically and then show you how different ways it could have been ran the way the ravens ran it thursday and then show you what they actually did to kind of muck it up a little bit but really just want to talk about snag and how much i love it and just do something a little bit different on this saturday morning so if i forget to say it throughout the week while it's on my mind uh, happy Thanksgiving to, to you guys out there. I know Thanksgiving is uh, a little less than a week away, but it may slip my mind to tell you guys that later on in the week. So let's, let's kind of get right into it. So this is one way, you know, and generic way snag kind of looks up. You Out of 11 personnel, you have a, a slant stop, you have a corner route, and you have a swing route out of the backfield. Some people like like a quick flat route by the running back some people like a swing route i personally prefer the swing route and as a as a kind of a way i teach that slant stop and it don't always have to be with a, an attached tight end it can be out of two by two and so what i tell that that slant stop is you run you're going to sit down on the path of that corner route now so if that if that tight end or slot receiver was further out you'd kind of sit down on his path now there's one another little nuance to it if it's man, if it's man, and there's a guy chasing, chasing that swing route, when that guy passes you, you stop and present your numbers to the quarterback. You stop and present your numbers to the quarterback because that's going to give you the, the, the quick hot for the quarterback right now. Also, if it's man, that corner route also presents an opportunity for the quarterback to get the ball out. Another thing, if it's man, you got your double slants on the backside. So if you got a good route run on that backside and it's obviously man pre-snap or they try to, you know, if it's zero or something like that, you know, you got double slants on the backside, you got opportunities there. But if it's zone, if it's zone and if it's like a two high type zone, you got your, your snag and your swing combo. And, that's, and I'm telling you, you'll be amazed how many times that little snag comes open versus zone. Damn near every time. Even if, if even if you bunch it up, that little slant stop comes open damn near every time, and it's easy pickings. You just got to have a quarterback to trust in and throw it. All right, this is another variation of it, and which is it's similar to the same thing. Back swinging out to the right, you got your slant stop on the right side, you got your corner route uh, on the left side, you got a, a post, and then you got another slant stop. Similar on the right side, back side, you can kind of tag and do whatever you want to it. And you'll see in this variation, they got everything tagged off and, you know, tagged and kind of do what you want, everybody's job and whatnot. But still, on the right side, the play side, you got that slant stop. And again, if, if it's zone, whoever's widening out to that swing route by the running back, that slant stop sits right when they, when they cross the path of that defender and shows his numbers and presents his numbers to the quarterback. Ball needs to come out ASAP. That's a quick four-yard gain right there, which now puts you at second and six if you catch the ball and get tackled. If you break the tackle or if you have open space, no dancing left and right. Catch the ball and get up there immediately, and now it turns into at least, at least second and five. And if you break a tackle, maybe even more. 
maybe even more. There's no dancing left or right. Catch the ball, immediately turn up field, and go north and south. And again, this is how the Ra this is the lineup the Ravens ran it out of Thursday night. You can slant that if you want to. Uh, I don't think the Ravens did that, but you could if you want to do it on the back side. Then on the front side, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get, I prefer the swing. They didn't do that. They ran this quick flat by Gus, which and to me, he got too far up the field and ended up way up here, which screwed the spacing up. And so you're going to get the corner by likely. And which if, if it was man, that would be your man beating route on top of whatever they did up top. Zay's going to kind of hesitate, hesitate, hesitate to allow likely to clear and then going to run a little slant stop. And because he's in, in a condensed formation, it really just turns into a hitch because he's in a condensed formation. If he was out here, it would turn into a slant stop. But because he's in this condensed formation, it just turns into a hitch. Now, again, Gus runs that and ends up too far upfield. I would really like him to be at the line of scrimmage. That helps with the space. That helps with the space. Let's look at it. There's another little nuance on it that I didn't talk about yet. Now, likely being jam kind of screws this up, but I really like the fact that Bateman is really trying to hesitate and allow likely to get into this corner route because he can't do anything until likely clears. All right, now, see see how Gus is drifting up the field? That don't help this spacing. Gus should be in the flats out here. That's why I like the swing because when he swings, now this guy's in no man's land. Either I cover this corner route well, I got to come up on on uh, Gus. But with Gus drifting, that kind of helps the defender out. Now, what I do like about Bateman, and the part that I didn't mention earlier, let me get this off, is because nobody chases Gus, now Bateman becomes a pick, essentially. So what you do is, if nobody chases the flat route, you just nestle up beside this guy so he can't chase it. You just nestle up beside that guy, and you essentially become a pick route. Essentially. And then, so now, if they throw this little flat route, and again, I prefer the swing, but if they throw this little flat route, he can't go get it. So if this had been a swing route, Gus is out here getting the ball with a full head of steam versus 22 instead of catching it with his back turn, and then 22 can come up and make the tackle. Which is what happened. See how Gus is catching it right here, and now 22 is about to make the tackle? What if we threw this swing route, Gus catches it right now with a full head of steam versus 22? I like Gus's chances versus a cornerback seeing him one-on-one. -on -one. I really do. I really do. And then you got likely on the corner route, you got a lot better spacing. And again, we didn't screw the play up. We got yardage. But I just, you know, they, this is my favorite play, and I want to talk about it. And that is what it is. So this is anatomy of a play. I hadn't done anatomy of a play in a long time. Like, if, if you weren't following me from the jump, you probably hadn't ever seen me do anatomy of a play. I hadn't done it in a long time. I think the last time I did it, the Lance Turner was run all running backs. So it's, it's been that while. But uh, this is anatomy of a play, three-man snag. And you guys know I love this play. It's one of my favorite plays. And if I ever get back on the grass, it's probably be one of the first plays I install because you can do it out of so many different formations. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. Like, comment, share. Uh, grab a link to this and put it on your social medias if you don't mind. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Enjoy you guys Saturday. A big day of football ahead. If you enjoy college football, I do. So I'll be checking it out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We get to enjoy and relax and watch football on Sunday and not be nervous about it. So I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace. Peace and love.